And while those storm winds pick up, volunteers in Arkansas are packing up. THV 11's Mercedes McKay tells us about a nonprofit group getting ready to head toward the East Coast. Melissa and Craig, Sheepdog Impact Assistance is a national organization that helps with any and every disaster relief effort, ranging from forest fires to tornadoes to floods. With experience under their belt and hearts of gold, rough waters aren't something that these warriors back away from. This was Hurricane Harvey. Uh, we were in Houston doing boat operations. We did muckout operations, tree clearing. A volunteer team made up of military and first responders. Just a few months ago, they dusted off their hands as they finished helping their neighbors from the Arkansas River flood. Now, with winds at 220 miles per hour, they're gearing up to take on Hurricane Dorian. We try to be ready at all times. We have our disaster response trailer where we have our, a lot of our gear is already ready to go. A fully stocked trailer loaded with snacks, gasoline, safety gear. All the necessities to keep themselves self-sufficient while they help out those who may be losing it all. With a hurricane, it's widespread. It's not, there's not a damage path uh, that's not along a particular ri river or tributary. Uh, it is uh, a lot of the state. So once you get there, a lot of times the devastation kind of takes you back. Jeff Watts, Sheepdog Central Arkansas Chapter Commander, says the biggest question currently, where will this storm take them? Right now, our, our uh, national disaster response team is, uh, is monitoring the situation. Obviously, uh, Hurricane Dorian is a slow-moving storm, so we're not sure where she's going to make landfall. Even though the location isn't final, they still have a tentative schedule of leaving Arkansas Wednesday the 4th and returning Monday the 9th. Watt says the team can be anywhere from 9 to 40. Since we're all volunteers, it all depends on who can get away from work and family and their obligations. Once they are there, the work begins immediately. They make contact with local emergency managers, sheriff's offices, and figure out what and where the need is. When it's all said and done, Watt says all you need to volunteer is time and the desire to give back. You don't have to, any, have, to have any special equipment. You don't have to have any special training. Uh, just a good pair of work gloves, good pair of work boots, and a willingness to help. Right now, Sheepdog is asking for gift cards for gas, Walmart, or Home Depot to help them out once they hit the streets. You can also donate at SheepdogIA.org, and you can head to THV11.com to find the link to register for volunteering.